The idea for this was actually my husband, Blair, and Blair has been working in the games industry for over 14 years. So he worked for Electronic Arts, and they primarily do console games, so your Xbox, your PlayStation, and that. And then uh, he worked for Zynga for a couple of years, and, and they were the ones that came out with Farmville. So between those two, he really felt like the thing that was missing was story. And we've been, we, as I said, we spent 20 months developing this engine. Um, after a near-death experience with him, we decided to move back to his, home, his hometown. And he had not lived there in 22 years. And it was just a chance for us to say, you know what? We don't have any, we don't have kids, we don't have a mortgage, let's just do this. So we've managed to raise a quarter of a million dollars Canadian to build this with our local students in college. And so we're really excited. We have some really great people coming on board. So aside from the whole writing aspect of it, what would you advise to other people that are looking to build a creative startup? Um, I think that's fascinating. I don't know if it's different in Canada than it is the US. I know there's... It's hard everywhere. Is it? It's okay, <laughs> great. We've got that out of the way. So you guys both came to this decision that maybe it sounds like maybe a lot of things were stripped away or you had a lot of epiphanies about what life really meant to you. Yeah. Um, and then starting from ground zero where you both were saying, let's do this, what, what were some of the steps that maybe you could recommend oh, to others? I think we, first of all, I've always felt like the universe has guided us to this point. It's never let us run out of money, which has been a miracle. And it really was, Blair had come up with this idea and I thought, okay, we can only sign a six month lease for this office because I was scared. And I think that's natural to sort of put all of your eggs in that basket. Um, what has worked really well for us, and it's very frustrating at first because when you're trying to do something, we're trying to wedge ourselves between the ebook and the video game community. So it's a space that doesn't really exist. It's hard being pioneers. Some people that you meet really get it right off the bat, and then other people, they, they look at you with glazed over eyes. That's been challenging. And also, it's challenging trying to build this in a community that doesn't have a lot of technology companies or game companies. So we're an hour north of Toronto. So what my advice would be to somebody who wants to take on a creative startup is make sure that you're in a community that supports you. and. Find mentors, they don't have to be in your community. We're working with some amazing mentors all around North America. It's exciting because we're now at that stage where people can see it and it's more tangible. Okay, how do you identify who your preferred mentor is? I mean, do you see them online or maybe see an interview and then say, I'm gonna send them an email or a tweet? Kind of, sort of, yeah. So I use, I, I use LinkedIn. If people are not using LinkedIn, they really need to be. So I'll read an article on maybe like um, a venture capital firm that has invested in a particular product that's kind of sort of in our space. So I'll go and look and see who are those people. With respect to finding our mentors, I had reached out, I did a, an eight city tour last year in 23 days. I went to all these different cities and I thought, okay, I'm gonna reach out to the people at the top and see if I can't get meetings. Because I'm a woman, it was really amazing to see other women leaders say, yes, I'll take the time for you. So I met with the, the head of the International Game Developers Association, and she got to see our prototype last year. It's way better now. Through that connection, she was able to connect me with other people in the industry, and that just kept going and going and going. And we eventually found some people. I mean, I got to have a Skype call with one of the people that I've admired for like 15 years and they have made some of the games that my husband and I love to play. So it's amazing what happens when you ask. We've made some very, very daring asks in the last year, uh, and they're paying off. It's, you don't get what you don't ask for. 